Hey everybody, welcome to a Biblio Adventure recap. We recently went to the Berkshires looking for Nathaniel Hawthor and we found him, or rather his little red cottage that he lived in. After that, we of course went to the Mount. No visit to the Berkshires is complete without a visit to Edith Wharton's home. We went to her library, of course, our favorite room in the house. We were there for two days, and on the second day, we were able to connect with Ninke Dorhut, the librarian there, and um, here we are looking at a copy of Ulysses. And then, wouldn't you know it, Dante was right there on the desk. Ninke had that out for an Italian scholar who had been in recently, and that's the Longfellow translation, even though Edith Wharton originally read it in Italian. And this is a pan of the library that we took last year when we visited. And we just wanted to let you see that again. And then coming up next is a clip of us outside on the grounds. Hi everyone, it's the Book Cougars, two middle-aged women on the hunt for a good read. I'm Emily. And I'm Chris. We are on the prowl today. We are in Lennox, Mass. Edith Wharton's house, this is the site of our very first biblio adventure together out of state, outside of Connecticut, say, before we were even in Yeah, it was in 2015. So here we are, now we're the book cougars, <laughs> and we're showing you what we're reading. We are reading local today, local to Lennox Mass. Very. <laughs> I have in my left hand, Ethan Frome by Edith Wharton. And then I have Summer by Edith Wharton. We were here yesterday and we ran into Anne, who is the guest services coordinator, I think. Is director of yeah. director of visitor something. To, okay. Yeah. She's a director. She's you know, she's she's a tie on top of yes. things. And she told us that Edith Wharton referred to Summer as her hot Ethan Frome. <laughs> We couldn't resist that. Couldn't so. resist that, yeah. <laughs> and um, I am reading a book by Sheila Lemming, What a Library Means to a Woman, which is all about Edith Wharton's library, which is a very significant part of the Mount. And she uses summer um, quite a bit to make uh, some points in this book. So I was interested in summer. It's not one that I've read. So we both have brand new hot copies to read very soon. Yeah, Chris bought her copy here yesterday after we did a tour in their gift shop. I bought my copy at the bookstore in Lenox, downtown Lenox, it's called the bookstore. Yeah. All right, let us know what you're reading. And here are a few pictures of the grounds. That's the back of the mount and we had lunch on the terrace. You can see the little dog there and the wonderful view. Edith Wharton was a dog lover, so dogs are always welcome on the grounds. It's a stunning home and a stunning property. We've been there in ooh, early spring, the fall, and now summer, and we plan to go back this winter as well. This is another fountain that flanks the other side of the house, everything's very symmetrical at the mount, other than some optical illusions that make your brain think things are symmetrical. Do the tour, very good tours there at the mount. Poison ivy signs are always important and appreciated. And there is a fabulous sculpture exhibit going on right now. There's me with one of my favorites. And then coming up is a video diving into one of our joint favorites. Hi everyone, we're at the Mount, Edith Wharton's house in Lenox, Mass. And they have beautiful gardens and grounds here. And right now there's an outdoor sculpture garden and we're standing inside one of the sculptures. Uh, you can see our house in the background. And then we're inside the sculpture and it's windy. So it's making this really wonderful like watery sound. And it almost looks like fish scales, doesn't it? It does. When it oh shimmers gosh. like that. And I wonder if they set it up, because it's essentially we're standing inside like a steel box with all these little pieces. 
pieces of steel strung on wire. And I almost wonder if they set it in here because it is on an angle mm. specifically to catch the wind. Right? So those are the pieces. And then here, I'll step forward a little bit so you all can see what the structure looks like. See, and you can see it shimmering still. And then you can see the house back behind yep. it. Yep, and there's the beautiful mount. We just had lunch on the terrace. And I'll just do another pan. You can see the beautiful grounds. And that wind is whipping. It's a gorgeous day here. I'll come back in so you can hear the sound a little bit more again. Just and beautiful. No, that's cool. You can really yeah. see it there. <laughs> Lovely. So we ended our time at the Mount with an event under the big tent with Stacy Schiff in conversation with Andre Bernard and that Susan Whistler, the executive director of the Mount, introducing them. It was a really wonderful conversation that kind of meandered through all of Stacy's books and subjects. And then we ended our time in the Berkshires with a hike at Monument Mountain. And here are a few photos that we took on our hike, just so you can get a sense of the terrain. It's a really well-maintained trail very well traveled. We saw a handful of hikers, even though it was pretty late in the day. As you can see, there's a lot of rocky outcroppings and boulders along the trail. And in the final photo, you'll see that there's an obstruction on the trail that we took as a sign to turn around, head back, and we made a final video. Hi everyone, we wanted to stop in and tell you about our second day up here in the Berkshires. 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 Yes, we are. Uh, we had a wonderful second day at the Mount. Edith Wharton's home. We got to see Ninke, the librarian. librarian. She showed us some books we were interested in seeing, and we'll talk about those on the next episode. And we had lunch at their Terrace Cafe, and then we ended the day there with a really amazing conversation with biographer Stacy Schiff. We weren't having the conversation yes. with her. She, yes. was in conversation. she was in conversation. <laughs> uh, they had a big tent out on the grounds and a really wonderful turnout for that. And then um, we drove just down the road. We're at Monument Mountain where we just had a lovely hike. That's why we're glowing a bit. That's right. We did a two mile hike with our friends, the mosquitoes, the mosquitoes. which is why yes. we are recording <laughs> in the car. In the car. Yeah, <laughs> we um, we wanted to go. Uh, but there were, we wanted to go to the peak, maybe, you know, we weren't sure about the hike and there was an obstruction. Um, so it ended up being a two mile hike and now we're in the car. We were going to maybe film out by the sign, but you might see the cars whizzing by behind us there. So it's kind of a busy stretch right now. Yeah. It's a little bit loud. Yes. So we didn't, yeah. yeah, we didn't want you to just be hearing cars and you, we didn't want you to watch us swatting ourselves with mosquitoes and like we again, were in Concord. Again. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we're in our trusty little Subaru. <laughs> yes. And we had a great time kind of chasing down the sites of Hawthorne, mm -hmm. which is, we should say is why we did this hike. Cause this yes. is the hike where Hawthorne and Melville met and discussed Moby Dick. Moby Dick. Yeah. They, this is where they met for the first time on a hike. And we've heard multiple versions that it was storming and lightning and thunder. Um, and they hid in a cave and had this conversation or it was just a summer shower. And they had a conversation about the book Melville was writing that was just going to be kind of like an adventure story, I guess. And then talking to Hawthorne, it became much more symbolic because Hawthorne's known for writing books with a lot of symbolism and all that jazz. So what would Moby Dick be without Nathaniel Hawthorne? Wouldn't exist. Yeah. Not like we know it. Yeah. And he, Melville dedicated that book to Hawthorne. Right. right. Yeah. So we want to just bring you along on our little gallivant in Lennox Mass. Yeah. And um, full recap on episode 189. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching.